Today I'm going to be doing a third look. Is it the third look? I think it's the third look with the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. And I've had a really busy week and I'm tired and I have no idea <laughs> what I want to do with this. Okay, so I... What happens when I get stuck and I don't know where to start is I'll just start with the obvious and sometimes that'll lead to something a little bit more creative. It might not today. I really don't know. Um, so I'm going to start with the shade Radiate. I'm going to use a larger fluffy brush like this. I've already put some color on my eyes. Not You probably can't tell. I used um, just this lighter half of this contouring duo um, on my brow bone and my inner corner. And I forgot to mention I primed this eye with my Alter Ego eyeshadow primer. This eye has nothing on it. I thought of doing this combo before starting, um, but the reason why I'm kind of forcing myself to just go and, and do this look is because it, I feel like this shade's pretty similar to some of the shades I used in the first look, and I don't want this to look so similar to that look that it's like kind of pointless to do it. And then I'm going to use the shade Aura. Mm, this I used in the first look also, but it is warmer than a lot of the shades in this palette. It's got kind of a reddish tone to it, and I want to use it over more. I'm going to try using it over a larger area and see if I can get something warm toned out of this palette. I think I can do that. I probably, well, I can still do it. I probably should have used Gratitude to start out with. Um, I can still use it now and see what, if anything, that does. <laughs> it just kind of warmed up, and it, it did what I was thinking it would do, it just warmed it up. This is more, Gratitude's a little bit more red, and this is, it looks kind of like bland in the pan, but it's kind of purplish on the skin. I'm going to use the shade Self Love. This one, this is a marbled cream on like the inner part here. I'm just going to mix both of the shades together. There's like a, a light pink and a light, like a gold. I haven't used Blissful yet, so I'm going to use that one next. This is a like a much more sparkly shade. Okay, that shade Blissful had quite a bit of fallout. Um, I cleaned up as much of it as I could. There's still a little bit there and there pr probably more of it will continue to fall as I'm doing my makeup. Anyway, I'm going to go in with um, a liner on my waterline. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Joyride. And I'm going to give up on the idea of this being a warm toned look. It's kind of warm toned, but it's um, very borderline, almost cool toned. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a shade that I've already used. This is the shade Empowered. It's like a deep, somewhat bluish gray. And I'm going to put that on the, the uh, lower lash line. I'm 
I'm gonna take a the lighter gray precious and I'm gonna put that on the inner part of the lower lash line. I think I've used every shade in this palette. <laughs> um, except for the gloss, which I was thinking of using um, over the previous shade that I just used. That might mess up my concealer, but whatever. If it does, it does. <laughs> this is the last shade. I haven't used this one yet. It is the gloss topper. Um, I haven't pressed. I haven't pressed into it enough to to um, pick up those pigment pebbles that are a little bit deeper under the surface. I'll see if I can get some of that on my brush. So it just. It still gives me like a very slight glossy sheen, but with just a little bit of a barely there rosy shimmer added in. <laughs> Take a an eyeliner brush like this and I'm gonna try and layer that over that matte light gray that I just used. Probably not the best way to use this. Um, I'll have to keep trying it different ways. I'm kind of tempted to use this um, pink that I used yesterday, or not yesterday, in my last look. In the, like, on the outer corner. <laughs> it's a little bit not something I would usually do. So this is the third look completed. Um, I feel like it's okay. I'm not super thrilled with it, but it's, it's not bad. <laughs> um, the gloss that I used, I'm not that happy with how it looks. I think it's just me. I haven't really used that type of product before, so it's just something I have to try using different ways and find what I like. How, how to make it work for me. So I'm gonna just wear this throughout the day and see how it lasts again. It is uh, almost noon, so I'll try and wear it as long as I can. Uh, this is an update on the third look. I'm about four and a half hours in. Um, so far, it's still looking pretty good. Uh, the eye that's not primed is looking about the same at this point as it did in the first look, so it's just slightly starting to show signs of creasing. The other eye is still looking almost as good as when I first applied it. So, you view. So this eye is unprimed and this one is primed. Um, this is going to be the last update for the third look. It's 10 hours since I applied it. Um, everything's looking pretty creasy on both eyes. Um, I don't know why the first look lasted so long. That's not something typical for me. Usually I don't get anywhere near 11 hours <laughs> with eyeshadow and the best primer. Um, it could have been the shades that I used maybe were those ones last longer than the others. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, this was the primed eye. This was unprimed. I mean, even with the lesser wear time that I've had with the last two looks, I'm still... I still like the palette. 
Um, so, I don't know. It's up to you to decide if that's um, the wear time seems like it's good for you or not. So.